to welcome everyone to the call to prayer tonight at the People's Church, Newton Abbey. Thank you for joining us. It's wonderful to have you with us because it's a wonderful thing that we are committing to and engaging in tonight. Consistent, heartfelt prayer. The Bible calls us to intercede. It reminds us and inspires us that our prayers can make the difference because through prayer, we're dependent on the Lord. Through prayer, we're obeying the Lord. And through prayer, we are trusting and believing the Lord to work in people's needs, in our country, and in this world at this particular time. There has been wonderful responses and answers to prayer. We're going to highlight that tonight as well. And we're really giving God thanks for all of his goodness, for the day we had yesterday, starting off with the morning service here at the People's Church. It was special. And we say that tonight, and God hears us. It really was special. People who were in here this morning in the building were talking about it. And someone said they'll remember yesterday morning service for an awful long time. You know, the Lord visited us yesterday in a real deep personal way. Pastor George was talking about the anointing, the preciousness of the anointing of the Spirit of God on our lives, on our church as well. And the danger of ever taking that for granted or ever losing that. And you know, at the end, there was an amazing response. People coming up for a fresh anointing, believing the Lord. There was such an honesty yesterday morning, but the Lord sees that. And now we're looking for fruit to be born out of that for the glory of God. He sees our hearts these days. It was wonderful to be here yesterday morning and we were online with the gospel outreach last night looking at something tremendously important, knowing God, knowing God, not knowing just of him, but knowing him in that deep, intimate and personal way and the knowledge of who God is and what he has done and what he can do has a burden on our lives and also has a burden on everyone around us for that matter as well. You know, those services are available on our YouTube channel, our Instagram page and our Facebook page. Why don't you share them with someone this week? You don't know what the Lord will do. It takes so little effort to hit that little arrow button to share, to send it to someone and then leave it to the Lord. We want to encourage you to do that. But we're back tonight for the call to prayer. We're praying for Pastor George because he's going down in a little while to the council building of Newton Abbey, uh, Newton, Newton Abbey and Antrim Borough Council. And we're really going to pray for our councillors tonight. We're going to pray that the Lord will give them wisdom and instruction, unity, we thank God for our council representatives and also for the privilege of our pastor being asked to go down there every meeting, every month to open that in a word of prayer, a little thought and a reading from God's word. What a wonderful opportunity that is. So we're praying for Pastor George this evening and everyone at Antrim and Newton Abbey Borough Council as well. But I want to read so briefly just a couple of verses. It's not a Bible study. We've come to pray tonight. We're going to have Bible study on Wednesday night. But just a couple of verses. Let me read 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 1. Peter says, Laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes, he says, desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow thereby. And that tells us something, that the Christian life is exciting because we can grow in God constantly, grow into new areas, 
grow into new things, grow and enter into new experiences. That's what makes the Christian life exciting because we're always growing. Now the word of the Lord helps us to do that. Desire the, the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby, this passage says. The word helps us grow. It informs us, instructs us, inspires us. And through all of that, we can grow in the Lord. Indeed, he says, if you've tasted that the Lord is gracious. Well, we have done that and we have experienced the goodness of God. And then it says next in verse 4, coming to him. Just simply says that, coming to him. And I wanted to read these few verses really because of that coming to him because very simply that's what we're doing right now that's what we're doing in this prayer time this evening we're coming to him we're not praying religiously we're not praying in routine we're not praying in some uh, informed manner and structure that is worldly and people based no, it's more than that. Our prayer time is more than that. We're coming to him. It's not wonderful. We're coming to him. And we're coming to someone who is all powerful. We're coming to someone who is all loving. But we're coming to someone who when he was naming his throne, he named it the throne of grace. And we're coming to that tonight. And looking for that grace to help in the time of our need. We're really doing that. I just wanted to read this to remind you of that. We're coming to him. Coming to him as to a living stone. Rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. And then it says this. You also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house. We're being built up. God is building us these days. God is building something and we're part of it. God is establishing something here on earth and we are in it and part of it. And not only that, brothers and sisters, we contribute to it. And that's why we need to pray. Because we have nothing of ourselves to offer. It's all of God. You also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Now, we're offering something here. And the Bible here calls it spiritual sacrifices. I think incorporated in those are prayer and praise, prayer and thanksgiving. That's what we're offering up tonight. And as we do that, God can build through it. These might be the materials that we can build with. Prayer and praise. Prayer and gratitude. Prayer and thanksgiving. The two go together. But as we do that, something is built. The Bible says we're being built up a spiritual house. You know, God can build tonight as we pray. God can build up. As we pray even for people, he can do something in their lives. And I just wanted to read that short passage to you this evening because it reminds us we're coming to him. Now we really are brothers and sisters. Right now we're coming to him. And I remember the day when, when Peter came to the Lord Jesus and said, Lord, to whom can we go? Who can we go? He didn't know who to turn to. He says, Lord, to whom can we go? Only you have the words of eternal life. And we feel like that tonight, but we're coming to him. And we're coming to him with our needs. We're coming to him with our requests. We're coming to him with individuals. Our brothers and sisters in the Lord from the people's church, first of all, who need our prayers. Here's the names of the people we're praying for tonight. Jennifer Corrigan in a lot of pain. And we've missed Jennifer recently. She needs our prayers. Raymond Caldwell in severe pain. Pastor George and I were with him late last week and prayed with him. But he needs our prayers in a critical way. 
Jordan and David McCulloch. They weren't out yesterday. Jordan has a kidney infection and David has broken his fingers in a work accident and we miss them. And we're really praying for them tonight. Joan McCrum isn't well, needs our prayers. Hazel Patterson still waiting tests. Nessie Savage has sciatica. We're praying for Nessie. Harry Newell at home. He needs our prayers. Anne Bowman recovering after that ankle surgery. We're praying for Anne tonight. Harry and Marlene Lucas are unable to get at the minute. We're praying that the Lord will build them up and we'll see them again soon. Maisie Larkham has had a fall. We've been saddened to hear that. She needs our prayers. Laura Williams going for tests. She's in a lot of pain and we missed her yesterday. Bobby Ferguson really needs our prayers at the minute. Pray for Bobby with all of your heart and also for Ella that the Lord will undertake for them at the minute. Bobby's having some tests and pray for Bobby that the Lord will be good to him. Helen Cooper waiting this liver transplant. May this be the week it comes. Amen everyone. Bran and Marion Lawson, Pastor Joe and I had a lovely morning with Bran just a couple of weeks ago, but they need our prayers. Marie and Mary, Marie, our Mary wasn't well, but she's feeling a good bit better now. But keep praying for them, that the Lord will strengthen them. Davy Scott needs our prayers. Andy Houston up in Cookstown, he continually needs our prayers. Norman Talbot in that respite in Antrim, pray for Norman. Gertie Frizzell had a little setback. She's now recovering. She needs our prayers. And Iris Black going through this treatment. She's very weak. She really needs the Lord. All of our brothers and sisters here, can we pray for them right now? Let's bow our heads. Let's come with all of our heart. Lord, we come to you and your word tells us coming to him. And we're just thrilled that we're doing that right now. We're coming to you for every name that we have read out a few moments ago, from Jennifer Corrigan right to Aris Black. Lord, you know the extent of every need. You know the complexities. You know the frustration, people waiting results, people going for results. You know the excruciating pain that some are in. And Lord, we're saying tonight, we're coming to you for these people. We're asking you to touch them. We're asking you to turn things around for them. We pray that you'll relieve the pain. We pray you'll bring good reports. And we pray that you'll glorify and magnify your name in your people's lives. Lord, remember our brothers and sisters right now. Lift them up on eagles' wings. We sang it yesterday morning. Will you lift them up on eagles' wings? And may they soar with you these days into good things. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. You know, there's good news. Thank God there always is. And God has been good to us. People saved in recent weeks and gone on with the Lord. Hallelujah for that. New people out yesterday. And the services were wonderful yesterday. That very special service. Let's give God thanks for that. Let's not take it for granted. The new people who were here for the very first time yesterday. And they enjoyed the presence of the Lord. Also, the response to our online services. We're constantly hearing from people who are watching online and being blessed and touched by the Lord. We're praying for Rose Jeffrey. She had uh, surgery and now she's home. Pastor George with, was with her husband David at the weekend. There was a wonderful uh, time there at the Green Island Football Club, Lawrence Gilliland had a great time, organized that event, a Christian oriented event, and the presence of the Lord was there. Give the Lord thanks for that as well. And for David Jeffrey speaking, and Pastor George was there. He thought it was a great event. 
But we're praying for David's wife, Rose, out of that too. Two sisters in the Lord have come through surgery. They're on spoken requests and they're doing good. So praise God for that. Angus's niece and her son are recovering well. We've been praying for those people. And here's more good news. And congratulations to Ali and Stephanie on the birth of their baby son, Finn. And we're delighted that little Finn has entered the world and um, we're praying for all of the family there. And last but not least, the wee baby we were praying for last week, little baby Anna, is recovering well. She's got a long way to go, but she's doing well at the minute. So praise be to God for these things. Can we just take a moment to say thank you? Lord, we really do that tonight. We don't want to miss this opportunity of thanking you for what you've done. And how you've answered. Lord, some of these people we were praying earnestly for last week. And now we've got good news. So thank you for that. Thank you for the meetings. And how you're blessing them. Thank you for the online services. And how you're using them. Thank you for the people phoning in to pray. And Lord, you're hearing and answering those prayers. Thank you for the great event at Green Island Football Club last Saturday. And Lord, how you were in that and use it now. And bless Lawrence there overseeing that. Thank you for saving Lawrence and how well he's doing. And Lord, give Lawrence the desire of his heart, I pray tonight. Thank you for answered prayer, for little Finn entering the world, Lord. Bless him and his mum and dad and family together there. So much, so much to thank you for. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And we're praying for others tonight um, who need our prayers. We're praying for Morning Neil recovering after hospital we're praying for graham mcallister in hospital in london we're really praying for him Aaron gray needs our prayers caroline wood is in the hospice and she's very weak and we're praying for caroline oh may the lord help her and give her his peace at this time may his hand be heavy upon her remember phyllis Jordan and Gary, they need our prayers as well. So let's pray for these dear ones. Lord, we come to you from the youngest to the oldest. You see these needs, people who have contacted our church to pray. And Lord, we're praying. We're really praying for them. And Lord, we ask you, if any of these people don't know you, will you, you bring them first of all to a saving knowledge of you because that's the greatest need. And that's the greatest blessing. And Lord, I pray if anyone doesn't know you, you will save them for time and eternity. Lord, give them a saving testimony and then give them a healing testimony. Oh God, we pray tonight for your touch upon these people. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We're going to think now of the bereaved families, those who are still suffering that loss and heartbreak. It may not even be recent. It could be years ago. People still find that it's so difficult. Pray for the bereaved families tonight. But in particular, Christine Gray's family. And pray for Christine and her family. Christine's mom passed away last weekend. And just remember Christine. Also Jim Ralph's family. Jim Ralph passed away. And the funerals this week. So remember Jim Ralph's family. And you know Maureen had the beautiful privilege. Of praying with Jim Ralph. Before he left this life. To come to Jesus. And Maureen is just rejoicing over that. And we give God praise. For Jim's saving testimony. And will you remember Jim Moore's family. Many of us have known Jim Moore a lifetime. And Jim Moore was a character in Ralph Cool. And I was mates with his brother and Pastor George and Linda have known the family for all their life. And Jim has gone to be with Jesus in the last few days. His funeral's tomorrow and may the Lord be honoured and may Jim be honoured at that funeral. We thank God for Jim Moore. Remember his family. And with that tonight, the lonely and people with mental health issues. Let's pray again. Lord, we pray for the bereaved. 
precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Lord, these are precious people and precious moments. You've taken them to be with yourself forever. And Lord, we thank you for that blessed hope. But Lord, we pray for those who remain. And we ask you that you'll be their portion. We don't need to pray, Lord, for these dear ones anymore. But we pray for their families and those who are feeling the loss. Lord, will you lift them up? Will you strengthen them? We're coming to you for them, Lord. Read that a few minutes ago, coming to him. We're coming to you for the bereaved. And we're coming to you, Lord, for those who are lonely. And we ask you to be their companion. And we ask you, Lord, to bring them in to fellowship. And Lord, we pray that you'll set the isolated, Lord, in company. And Lord, you'll be good to those who are feeling alone, Lord. We ask you for that and help us to look out for them too. Help us to be a blessing to them as well. We just don't want to pray for them. No, we want to help in any way we can. And for those with mental health issues, Lord, we come against that the spirit of suicide tonight and despair and hopelessness because with you there's always hope and with you Lord there's life and with you there's love and with you there's light Lord in place of darkness but remember these needs tonight in Jesus name amen and amen we're going to pray for our country God's work and in particular right now Antrim and Newton Abbey Borough Council we're praying for these representatives. We're asking God to enlighten them. We're asking, we're thanking God for every one of them who represent the people of Antrim and Newton Abbey. And we're praying the Lord will give these people great wisdom, great insight. We're praying for unity together there, that decisions can be made to be a help and blessing to Antrim and Newton Abbey. We're also thanking the Lord for what has come out of that. There's wonderful things happening in Antrim and Newton Abbey that we're really thankful for and we're really thanking our council for. But we want to support them. That's why Pastor George has gone down there tonight to be a support to them, to be an encouragement and to be an inspiration. So let's pray to that end. Lord, we come to you for your work. Remember churches, Lord, in our neighborhood and in our province, in our nation and in the Republic of Ireland. Lord, build your church the way you said you would. We pray for our country and we ask you, Lord, to remember us again. Lord, we're unique, but your heart has been set on Northern Ireland. You've been gracious to us, Lord. And Lord, we pray you will be again. Bring us good times. Bring us, Lord, stability. Bring us wisdom. And what we pray for our province, we pray for our counsellors and our council. Thank you for every one of them. Thank you for what they've already done and accomplished. And we're asking you for more in the days to come. And Lord, will you lead them right? And will you give them that wisdom that your book talks about? Heavenly wisdom. Lord, there's nothing like that. It profits. It will bring profit. And we pray that our counsellors will have that. And we'll see the produce of that taking shape. Lord, in Antrim and Newton Abbey, thank you for these counsellors. Thank you, Lord, Lord, that they're meeting tonight. And we pray that you'll direct them in the right way in your name tonight and in each and every time that they meet. It's a privilege, Lord, to be working with them. Bless Mark Cooper there, the mayor the of Antrim and Newton Abbey. Lord, bless him and make him a blessing. But thank you for Mark and his family. And we pray for all of our counsellors tonight in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. We're praying for all the unspoken requests, brothers and sisters, and our loved ones as we come to the end of our prayer time. Let's do that with our hearts reaching out to the Lord. The Lord sees your heart. What you carry within matters to him. And we're going to pray. We're going to pray for our loved ones who don't know the Lord. Thank the Lord as well for the loved ones who have come. That just inspires us as we go forward in the Lord's precious name. Let's just end off by praying for the unspoken requests and our loved ones. Lord, we come to you. 
for every unspoken request tonight. We come to you, Lord, and we ask you that you'll see the cry of the heart within. We ask you to bless, Lord, these needs. And thank you for the uh, good news we've heard, the unspoken requests, because we've been praising you for that tonight. And that just inspires us to keep praying. Lord, meet the needs of the cries within. And Lord, meet our loved ones tonight, those who don't know you. Lord, soon and very soon, may they come into that wonderful joy of your salvation. Lord, we believe it's coming. And we're praying in faith tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the loved ones we have seen. Thank you for what you have brought about. And Lord, for the rest of the week, will you bless us, Lord, as we go to funerals this week, as we take funerals this week, make us a blessing. Let something be said in the funerals to bring light and hope and strength. Lord, for every day, bring us something to do. Even your people praying tonight, use them, Lord, this week. Use our services. Visit us, Lord, we pray in your great name. For those on holiday, keep them safe and bring them back refreshed. We'll love you and we worship you. Thank you for hearing our prayers tonight. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, God bless you, everyone. It's been wonderful to pray together. Keep praying. Remember, you can pause the screen and pray earnestly. Go back again and listen. Keep going on with the Lord. We are really looking forward to Wednesday night. Wednesday nights have been blessed, and we're looking forward to this Wednesday night. We'll see you at 7 o'clock in our church sanctuary. We're also looking forward to seeing you during the week. If you need us, please let us know. And can we say again, and we're not just saying it because it's the right thing to say. We feel it. You're encouraging us. Thank you for doing that. Let's keep going on together. And who knows what the Lord will do this week. But we'll see you soon. God bless. Keep praying. God bless. God bless.